In, in Genesis 1, the Bible begins its very first verse, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Now it's interesting that in Genesis 1.1, God decided to sum up creation in that fashion. He didn't say God created the universe and all living things. Didn't say he created heaven and earth and humans and plants and animals. It, God chose to describe it as in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. What I would suggest to you is that basic distinction, heaven and earth, is the way to understand the rest of the Bible. So as you think about God's plan for the earth, in Genesis 3, man rebels, obviously. Satan tempts Eve, Adam and Eve, eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. As a result of that, they sinned, and we're in the state we find ourselves in today. Before Satan led that rebellion on earth, he first rebelled in heaven. And he got many of the angelic authorities to follow him. So as of Genesis 3, the basic problem that God the Father faced was there is a rebellion in heaven and there is a rebellion on earth. I would suggest to you that the rest of the Bible is about how God is going to resolve those two rebellions. The way that God is going to resolve the rebellion on earth is that he formed a specific group of people. He called out Abram, renamed him Abraham, formed from him the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel ultimately will receive an earthly kingdom of a thousand years, but then an eternal kingdom with Jesus Christ as its head on the new earth. That solves the problem of how the earth is going to be reconciled to God. Well, what about heaven? The way that God reconciles heaven to himself is different. What God does to reconcile heaven to himself is that today, during the dispensation of grace, what God is doing is he places believers into the body of Christ. The body of Christ is the church of today. At the catching up, what people commonly call the rapture, God will take the church to heaven. He will give us spiritual bodies capable of functioning in the heavens. And the body of Christ is what God is using to replace the fallen angels that rebel. So if you have that background, what it tells you is God's ultimate plan for this universe is to bring everything under the headship of Jesus Christ. But there's two components to it. There's an earthly component that involves Israel, and then there's a heavenly component that is addressed by the body of Christ, the church of today.